Welcome back. Today I wanted to make a minimalist wall clock. This was a file on printables by Matt and it is a it's a remix of Sunny Print's minimalistic wall clock that was just a tabletop clock. As usual, I wanted to push this as much as I could, so I was able to scale it up 180%, not quite 200% to make it a very large clock. This ends up being about 16 inches uh, long by 17 inches wide, or 40 centimeters by 17 centimeters. But I did just keep it the regular 100% depth. I wasn't sure uh, with the mechanism if I made it you know, double the depth, if I would have issues with the mechanism and the pins and everything hitting. So I just kept that one at 100%. I printed it at 0.4 layer height and it ended up being about eight hours long of a print. This is a PETG filament. It is Overture's Urban Gray color. Okay, let's see how this turned out. I did print it on the textured sheet so it does come off a little bit easier. Overall, it did print well. There's nothing major. But there are some spots where the seam hits on the inner corners that aren't super smooth. And it almost looks like a little bit of over extrusion on the very top, which might be because I didn't scale it all up proportionally, so the angle is a little bit off from the original design. But it's definitely cool looking. I think that we'll go ahead and use this print and see how it turns out. I scaled up the clock hands 200%. I wanted to see how the size would fit. They printed well and I do like the design of them. I like having printed them with that diagonal. It kind of gives it a little bit of interest and the texture as well on the back is really cool. The shape of the clock hands kind of mimics the overall shape of the clock as well. We just glued the clock mechanism to the back. Um, at one point I was thinking about trying to inset it, but it ended up working fine to just glue it. And we did also use the little hanger as well. Um, I just kind of marked on the back where it needed to be and we just glued it right in. The mechanism on the front, however, was gold, and we didn't like that color, so we just added some Sharpie on top of it to just change the color a little bit. This is the comparison between the original clock hands that came with the mechanism on the right and the ones I printed on the left. You can see that the ones on the left that I printed are a lot shorter, which is what we preferred, but the holes were too big. And then the ones on the right, we just didn't like the design of those. So I had to modify the uh, holes and reprint them again. I ended up getting the hour hand to work, but the uh, minute hand was still not quite the right. It wasn't a perfectly round hole. It was kind of oblong. And so I had to adjust that again and reprint again. But here is it all put together. You can see how gigantic it is. And here it is on the wall. You can see that I probably could have gone ahead and done it a little bit deeper, but maybe I couldn't have even done the whole 200%. It would have been too deep. And I don't mind that you can see the um, mechanism behind because where it's placed, it's not something you would ever notice. So I'm pretty happy with it overall. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.